Oh, we are taking your questions now for veterinarian David Graff. If you have a question, 365-9999. Catherine's going to get us started with her first, with our first question today. Go ahead, Catherine. Um, we just recently got a kitten, and we have a one-year-old cat that is not adjusting well. Yes. And so we're wondering what's the best way to socialize the cats together. Well, are they both female? Or is one male and one female? I think she's gone. She's gone. Well, it, do, it doesn't matter either way. Um, it's going to take a while for the, the older cat to adapt to the new kitten in the, in the environment. And so give the, give the old cat a lot of attention and a lot of love. And then when you are putting them together, make sure you're uh, monitoring that, sure. su supervising the, the, uh, the, 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 the new kitten needs to learn the, the home and needs to learn the, the old cat. And then the old cat needs to become accustomed to the new cat. There's a high probability that your old cat will accept the new kitten. It'll take That's a while. Good. Now, when you, when you get the third cat, the third man out is always uh, tough. tough, yeah. But uh, if there's a high probability that with time, the, the older cat will accept the new kitten. And we have a new cat <laughs> coming into our studio today. The, this is Rusty. Rusty's from the Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control. He's about a three and a half month old intact male, and he's uh, full of energy. Yeah, and curious too, checking out the microphone, yeah. the buttons on your jacket, took a little stroll around the studio a little bit earlier, so certainly give them a call if you're interested in adopting. It's a very pretty color. Uh, Don's next on the line with a question. Go ahead, Don. I, uh, um, I have a little miniature schnauzer, mm -hmm. and he's been showing up this white, foamy stuff. Um, is there anything to be alarmed, or is it anything cancerous, or well, it, it, any any. Th there's a hundred things that can cause vomiting, and it may actually not even be vomiting. It, it could be um, regurgitation, or it actually could even be from respiratory, from coughing. So it's important to figure out what it is he's doing. Um, so if, if this has been going on very long, I would certainly have him looked at by your veterinarian and get a physical exam, and he'll take a history, he or she will take a history, and, uh, and go for there. It, it might be something serious. It could be something as minor as bronchitis. So Good to check it out. It's good to check it out. Right. Darlene's next. Go ahead, Darlene. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, that was Darlene. <laughs> and if she didn't have a question, and that's fine. Uh, we do want to take time to mention uh, a fundraiser put on by Cedar Rapids Animal Care and Control called Paws in the Park coming up in Noel Ridge Park that's September 15th from 10 to 2. Ashley's actually judging the pet look-alike contest. So that should be fun. So there's going to be some contests and some opportunity to win some prizes and certainly help out a great organization here in Cedar Rapids. And again, Rusty, yes, if you're interested in adoption, certainly uh, give them a phone call. I think he'd make a good pet. Yes, he would. For he's, someone. He's a real good kitty. Active, hanging out.